Coach Dye was the greatest part of Cal Berkeley as it related to my experience playing softball. Of course I'm in love with Evie. She's one of my best friends. And of course I love Jackie Bowman, Devil Dog, and Linda Wills. I have some amazing relationships and stories that are insane. Okay, but the thing that I want to share is Coach Dye. The biggest thing Coach Neimeyer did is let us be us. And she was there, our biggest fan. She led us, but she supported us. And you have to have a certain level of resiliency. And she was very good in, in leading us through the ups and downs. The type of culture that she wanted to implement is sisterhood. We're all there together, regardless if it's out on the field, outside of the field. We all got to play like sisters. It was so fun to be part of it. Was, I remember it being a lot of hard work. You know, we had a great time playing, but it was hard because we worked hard, we um, expected the best. Each year was different but the same because there was this connective ability with the team and Coach was just a genuine coach, you know. She kind of let you play how you play and that was it. There was a lot of heart. She has been a stable force um, at Cal and I would say in our profession. She's someone that's very, very conscientious about the growth of the sport, and I just think she's a person of very high integrity. When you're around her all the time, you can just feel her passion for the game, her love of the game, even her, her knees not taking her away from the passion and the energy that she has on the field. Coach and I just immediately clicked from the very beginning, from the time I verbaled here when I was a freshman in high school, till the time I graduated and even up until now, and I think she just does a really good job of making that connection and making sure that you know that she cares about you. i just very, 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 very thankful to be a part of such a long, expanded, successful program and I'm just a little part of that. I want to make sure you know Coach Di, that you made my four years at Berkeley truly amazing. I loved it, man. I can't share the stories because most were kind of bad. Right, we did a lot of crazy things, right? We threw the pillow out the window. Most of all, we bonded as a team because Coach Dye kept us together. I'm telling you right now, Coach Dye, you're amazing. She never um, coached differently in a big, huge game or a midweek game, not that they're all not big, but she never coached differently when we were at the World Series or if we were in a midweek or if we we're in a conference game. Um, she always coached to who she was and we always had confidence and I just remember we went on this run. It was really a, a, a season to remember because um, there were a lot of things that went through that season but we had a young pitcher named Jocelyn Forrest who had gone through a very very difficult situation. Our pitcher um, Jocelyn Forrest had um, a horrible traumatic event that happened in our family. We all came together and coach helped steer that helped us come together as a team, and, and we were going as Jocelyn went. I think that was the turning point for the team, and this team pulled together, and they never lost another game. It was like almost like a movie script in that seventh inning against Arizona with Jenny Finch on the field, and they're all Americans. It was almost like, I tell people, like David versus Goliath. Everybody was cheering for Arizona and Jenny Finch, uh, except our families, who even they probably thought maybe we weren't going to win. And we, you know, we came together as a team and Coach brought us together and it was just kind of like, you know what, you can do this. And before you knew it, we had scored seven runs and we had knocked Jenny Finch out of the game. And then Jocelyn went in the seventh, the bottom of the seventh, and she struck out the side for the exploration mark. And we won the game and like I said, it was so exciting to see this group that no one ever thought could win a national title. But like I tell people, it was the team that won. It was the team that played with heart. And you can never measure the heart of a player. I think that was probably one of the biggest victories of all NC2A, to see this team win a national title. Well, my first experience of driving in my little MGB sports car up University was, I turned to my mom and I, I said to her, what have we gotten ourselves into? Um, and I remember going back to the hotel where I had to stay for a couple of weeks before I could even find a place to stay. I would go up and I would meet Dr. Lilly and I'd go back and I'd talk to my mom and, and she would even say to me, if you don't want to stay, you know, we can just turn around and go right back home if this isn't for you. And I said, no, if I don't take this job, I'll always ask myself what should have, could have, 
and would have been. And I don't want to live like that for the rest of my life, wondering what my life will be if I don't take this chance. So I decided to stay and, and make this a good position for myself. It was really hard to believe that I'd been at Cal for 30 years, but I can say that truly um, during the 30 years, there's never been a really a, a better place that I want it to be than here at Cal. And for a couple of reasons, I felt like here at Cal, we could have the best of both worlds. I knew at night when I left, my girls were getting the best education possible. And they had a dream of always winning a national championship. That's always been our two goals here at Cal. Graduate from the number one school in the country and see if you can be one of many teams that have come through Cal to win a national championship. And to me, at the end of the day, if a player can come here and say, I graduated from the number one school in the country, that's the goal and the opportunity that we offer to every recruit that comes into our program. She's graduated, I can't tell you how many doctors, how many attorneys. I mean, her graduation rate, if you guys look at the statistics of what she's been able to accomplish with her teams and with the money she's provided and how successful she's been and all the certain number of scholarships, it's very empowering. Genuine's the big word that always comes to mind, but she's got a big heart and she was positive and just kind of stuck with you. Um, she persevered and we, we had some tough times and we had some things happen and um, her leadership kind of led us through each moment. She gave me an opportunity of a lifetime and I'm so um, fortunate to, like I said, I, I found my, this was my dream and for her to, to kind of allow me to come and play for her and I'm just so grateful. She's just an amazing woman. Uh, she's taught me a lot about life and um, you know, being this, being a strong woman at the end of the day, because you know when your season is over in college, um, sometimes we're not fortunate enough to play softball after. So it's just nice to know that we have her as a coach and as a mentor. For me, what Coach Di truly taught me was to use my voice. Coach Di encouraged me to be a leader, to speak up to hold our teammates accountable, to inspire by action, to make sure that you walk that talk, Ronnie Deutsch. You just don't talk it. She taught me how to connect that. I love Coach Di and I'm so thankful that she was one of the coaches that brought me through an important time in our lives. You know, you leave high school, first time you're kind of away from your parents and it can go many ways. And to have someone so supportive and pushing you in the education and you know teaching you the discipline and the important things. Thank you, thank you, Coach Di. Happy 30 years, Coach. I love you. I'm always behind you. I respect you 100%. And good luck on a great season this year. Coach, thank you very much for everything. Um, just the opportunity to play for you and get my degree at Cal. It, um, was my identity, is my identity, and I thank you very much. Thank you.